Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days, and we are on day 23. Today we will be reading Psalm 23, 53, 83, 113, 143, and Proverbs 23. So, let's just jump right in, not waste any time, with Psalm 23 which is a psalm pretty much i'd say the most popular psalm like pretty much everybody knows this psalm at least the first few verses anyway psalm 23 verse 1 a psalm of david the lord or yahweh is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of yahweh forever such an amazing amazing chapter short but to the point and there's some great truths in it goodness and mercy will follow me and i'll live in the house of the lord forever amen to that right um and a lot of people take for granted this first part, the very first verse. The Lord, or Yahweh, is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's very deep. It's very short, but it's also very deep. If we put our faith and trust in God, depend on Him, we will never want anything. He will always provide for us everything that we need. So, it's just an amazing verse, amazing verses. Uh, definitely one that's worth memorizing. Keep that locked away in your heart and your mind. Psalm 53, verse 1. To the chief musician upon Mahalath, Mashil, a psalm of David. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. Elohim looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that, that did seek God. Every one of them is gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? They have not called upon God. There were they in great fear, where no fear was. For Elohim hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because Elohim hath despised them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when Elohim bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 83, verse 1. A song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O Elohim. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Elohim. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarinus. Gabel and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyr, Asher also joined with them. They have holpen the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kison, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, 
yea, all their princes as Zeba and as Zamuna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of Elohim in possession. O oh my Elohim, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind. As the fire burneth a wood, and as a flame setteth the mountains on fire, so persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Yahweh. Let them be confounded and troubled forever, yea, let them be put to shame and perish. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. Amen to that. His name is most high over all the earth. Psalm 113, verse 1. Praise ye, Yahweh. Praise, O ye servants of Yahweh. Praise the name of Yahweh. Blessed be the name of Yahweh from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Yahweh's name is to be praised. Yahweh is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto Yahweh, our Elohim, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in earth? He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house, and to be joyful mother of children. Praise ye Yahweh. Psalm 143, verse 1. A Psalm of David Hear my prayer, O Yahweh. Give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me in, the, in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man be living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee, as a thirsty land, Selah. Hear me speedily, O Yahweh, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. <sighs> Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to thee. That's a great verse right there. So many great things in that verse. So many. First of all, cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I trust. We should always put our trust in Christ and in God. Cause me to know the way wherein I shall walk. Every day we should be praying for that, that the Lord will lead us and guide us. For I lift up my soul unto thee. Amen to that. Amen to that. Psalm 143 8. What a great verse. Deliver me, O Yahweh, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my Elohim. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Yahweh, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant. In Proverbs 23, verse 1. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee. And put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away, away as an eagle toward heaven. Right? We shouldn't live to work and work to just make money because we can't take anything with us when we die eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye neither desire thou his dainty meats for as he thinketh in his heart so is he eat and drink saith he to thee but his heart is not with thee this first part's pretty interesting for as he thinketh in his heart so is he 
you know, I've learned that what you think about yourself, it's not always easy, it's in fact really hard, but what you think about yourself is what you get, in a sense. You're always putting yourself down, and you're always going to be down. It's important to give our troubles to Christ, because sometimes in this life we are not strong enough to handle it ourselves. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee, applying thine heart unto instruction and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Another great one. Apply your heart unto instruction and your ears to the words of knowledge. Man, this is so great. Definitely, we need this as Christians. We need instruction. We need words of knowledge. That is a great one. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with a rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with a rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my reign shall rejoice when thy lips speak right things. Let not thine heart envy sinners. But be thou in the fear of Yahweh all the day long. It's another great one. You know, it is easy to be envious of people who... Maybe not uh, sinners per se, but who succeed in our evil. So, I mean, they, they could be sinners, but those who... Yeah, you know, in my mind, what this means to me is that when you see somebody succeed that is evil or living so evil, and there's so many people alive today that are just wicked, wicked people and evil and do abominations before God, and they're alive. We can't be envious of them, envious in the fact that they're alive, you know, or be envious of what they have like how is that person so evil and yet he has all these things so that one is a very great one because in this day and age it can be easy to be envious of people who are evil or sinners and this next part be thou in the fear of Yahweh all the day long so I made a Bible study about the fear of the Lord and um, basically, it's not being afraid, like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm going to run and hide under my covers. It's more of have a, a respect and reverence for Yahweh. So, every day, all the day long, all day, be spiritually aware of Him and His presence. Proverbs 23, 18. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine-bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Hearken unto the, thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and sell it not. Also wisdom, and instruction, and understanding. The father of righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that getteth a wise child shall have joy of him thy father and thy mother shall be glad and she that bear thee shall rejoice my son give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit she also lieth and wait as for a prey and increaseth the transgressors among men who hath woe who hath sorrow who hath contentions who hath babbling who hath wounds without cause, who hath redness of eyes. They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth his color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last it biteth like a serpent, and strength like an adder, stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, 
or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me, shalt thou say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. All right, that's going to be it for today, guys. Some great, great, great verses here. Uh, great chapters t in today's reading. I mean, pretty much every chapter that we read today, every chapter had so many good verses. And I mean, I love the Bible, and there's the whole thing's great. But some, at least for me, speak to me a little bit more than others. And these chapters we read to definitely speak to me. So thank you guys so much for watching, for listening, for joining me. I hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care, God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him and trust in Him and wait upon Him. And you'll never be sorry. We'll see you next time, God willingly, with more Psalms and Proverbs. Thanks again and take care.